how we can establish the balance uh, too much regulation versus uh, maybe too much freedom is there any danger in having too much freedom the idea of renaissance of european ambition also uh, begs a bit the question on something that came before it, which were um, the Dark Ages. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Dark Ages, the Dark Ages um, were not about religion. They were about lost knowledge that made people almost impotent, um, unable to understand the things around them, unable to improve them, unable to interact with them. And I, I think this is the challenge that we face today in Europe precisely when you see reflexes of regulation and only regulation to whatever the question is. So if the question is how can we improve medicine and the only answer is regulation, that's not enough. If the question is how can we improve education and the only answer is regulation, again, it's not enough. If the question is how can we accelerate economic growth and the only question is regulation, that's not enough. So what I'm saying is there are several components, several elements that are very important. Um, I do believe that regulation can play a guiding role um, and it should not be the Wild West. But I also think that we're at a point where given how important the technology are, uh, technologies are, how large of an impact they will continue to have during the next period, if Europe is not present in the conversation, uh, and present not with regulation, but with contribution, with brilliant minds that are day and night working to push these technologies forward, uh, we might most likely lose this um, battle or lose even the opportunity of being part of the conversation. We don't want that for Europe. We want a Europe that understands and has some natural reflexes when it comes to science, when it comes to technology, engineering, culture, philosophy. Um, if this um, are absent, then we start to live in a state of uh, a world that is um, not exciting.